It sounds like something we want to record. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I pitted for Kev. Yeah. He did two laps because he had athletes going, right? He didn't work hard. So I am I was literally on this weekend, probably like six hours of sleep the entire weekend. Oh yeah. It was like and then we drove home from Connecticut last last night. What is that's like a nine hour haul, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a it's a yeah. haul. So they left Philadelphia Toughest Motor at two AM, got back to Connecticut at like six AM, and then Kev had to go ref at eight AM somewhere. So we let him sleep. Jess and I went for like coffee and a workout and then came back, woke him up and drove home. <laughs> Oh man. That's oh, it was a, wild. That's a that lot of a, wheel time. Yeah. yeah. Like I was probably in the car for 22 hours of the entire trip. You know, I, I swear to God, I think you've gone there so much now. You're starting to pick up a little bit of an accent there when I heard you. Ah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know. It's, that's the problem with hanging out with all these Americans all the time. <laughs> yeah, probably have. We, we, we had a similar weekend. We went out to Quebec. So Friday, drove out to mm-hmm. Quebec, camped in a Walmart parking lot in the van. <laughs> Classy all the way, boondocking hardcore. That's Went, awesome. Raced, got back in the van and drove back, was back by 11 o'clock that night. That's epic. That's just that, epic. how did it go? It was good. It was good. It was so hot. Like it was way. Yeah. I've, I've had that's what everyone's before. saying. It was super hot here, but in Connecticut, it wasn't terrible. Like we're like probably 15, 16 degrees. So it was like nice, comfortable weather. Race temperature was 28 <clears throat> degrees. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it wasn't just me. We all cooked pretty bad. So I've had better performances, but it wasn't it wasn't an atrocity either. But no, so, no, for sure. Yeah, I was happy with it. But all right. Uh, yeah. Officially here. Let's do this thing. Zach and Amber Tate. I was going to actually introduce you as the queen of zone three and his wife, Amber. I know. Well, you freaking <laughs> fast at it. <laughs> I know. R- Rise has been bugging me. I got to send her a video of how I do it. She's like, yeah. how do you do it? Like, it's so... Like, who do you think he learned from? And now people are asking him for his technique. And I'm like, oh, hi. I you don't, taught him. But you don't tap how I tap. Yeah, because I'm not as tall as you. Don't be so sour, Amber. Why are you going to be like... I know. So she's, just, she's just bitter that I'm faster than her. Like, no. Yeah, so we put out the same time. So we're technically... So you're not faster. We're technically equal. We're equal. That's that's how these partnerships work. It's team... <laughs> <laughs> that's cool all right um so here we're going to talk about the, a lot of this stuff but um let's just get right into it so you guys really have been one of the big driving forces in helping bro- grow hybrid in canada specifically deca and now we're making and i don't want to say a transition but we're including something mm-hmm. else. so now we're, we're we're jumping on and we're going to work with high rocks too so what motivates the decision to do that because like i said you guys have done a lot it's we we all acknowledge the amount of work that you two have put in and yeah. miles and the car so, <laughs> yeah what 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 motivates you to to get in with high rocks you know what honestly it was it was just a matter of time and just having the time right to bring another um opportunity into our community because as everybody knows up here impact athletics we go all out when we host events and it wasn't a matter of if it was it was when and I honestly thoroughly believe that DECA and High Rocks can coexist. They are very different races. You know, like they bring so much differences to the table. Yes, there are some similarities, maybe in race format, but outside of that, they can coexist. And you know what? A lot of us are going to enjoy both of them for very different reasons. And I'm just excited to bring one more opportunity to our Canadian community in our area anyways. I know there's lots of affiliates out there that are going to do great things too. Um, and just, yeah, honestly, it's just more about bringing more options to our community because that's what fitness is really all about at the end of the day. Yeah. Like I'm a full believer in a rising tide floats all boats. So the more <laughs> cool races we got, the more people we got involved, the the, the better off <laughs> the industry is going to be, the better off we're all going to be. Um, so before we get to the big event, you guys are actually going to be having a PFT. Yeah. So July 7th from mm-hmm. 12 till two, we're into the PFT at our gym we've got an awesome space and it just makes sense to utilize it so we're gonna be we're gonna be there uh jay's gonna be with us and whoever else wants to join us obviously it's gonna be a good time so and so quick rundown what is a pft because some people might not know okay so pft is a uh, physical fitness test it's basically a benchmark workout so it's a great entry into high rocks um to experience it or just you know kind of like 
get a grab for it or feel for it outside of like a large race setting. So it's a great first touch for most people. And also at the end of the day, it's a great workout and a great benchmark. So um, it's something that you can test throughout the year. You know, you're training for it anyways, use it as a benchmark, see how you're progressing. Um, and then, like I said, move on to a half high rocks or a full high rocks for there or whatever opportunities are coming to your area. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, point. it is so like in the layout completely, you're looking at a 1K run. 50 burpee broad jumps and like over a line it's a 90 centimeter spice space mm -hmm. 100 front lunges no weight yeah and a thousand thousand meter row yeah. 30 hand release push-ups which shockingly gets people out of sorts a oh, lot more than you'd think and it's you're under tension longer than you think on those <laughs> that's right and then especially going into 100 wall balls to finish and yeah. honestly I, I don't want to say i enjoy it but i think it's, it, it's a fun workout it's good to get it done and like you said it it's an introduction. It's a handshake. Yeah. You know, and you, you can see where you're at. And I do find that it is for everyone. That's a workout that actually is for everyone because, yeah, absolutely. because you can, even if, even if you're not super fit, you're not really there. You can just slug your way through it. Yeah. You like, can grind it out for you sure. Can grind it out. Exactly. <laughs> it like, takes a little while, but you could do it. Yeah. Like there's nothing in there. It's not like there's muscle ups in there or handstand push ups or anything that's going to be a limiter for you. Like it's just, Right. 100 wall balls sucks it's hard it, it hurts it's terrible but yeah. you just you know, one at a time lug them out and that's the nice thing about you know these events is that they're not overly technical so i mean yeah it is maybe a good thing to show up and have some training but it's not overly technical in a sense that like you need to be taught how to execute the movement in order to be able to perform it like a row you get on there and you start moving and after a thousand meters you're gonna have it figured out by the end so like <laughs> You know, in a run, you just, you go at your own pace, not very technical. Like anybody could show up and execute the PFT, which is really exciting. Um, it's an opportunity for everyone. Yeah. And realistically, you're looking at a time zone of probably somewhere between 20 and 40 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Probably what you're going to be looking at. So it's, it's, it's a good workout. It's good fun. So that one, sorry, what date is that? July 7th? Yeah. July 7th. It's a Sunday. And roughly how many people you figure in because like, you know, you don't want to get overrun here. I opened it up to 40. So if 40 people want to come hang out with us and have a good time and sweat a little, then uh, there's space for you. <laughs> so what that means is there's only 40, probably only 40 spots. So don't piss around and wait. <laughs> yeah, that's also true because our, yeah, our events do sell out. So if this is something and you're in the area that you'd like to do, I mean, 40 spots probably will disappear quickly. <laughs> so um, there'll be lots of fun. I mean, we always have energy and snacks and treats and friends and all the fun. Sometimes champagne. Sometimes, Sometimes champagne. That, you know what? On a Sunday afternoon, don't tempt me. <laughs> and you do get one of these snazzy patches. There, there it is. Right? Yes, yes, there will be patches. I don't have any. That's of them a better one. Than on one. me, <laughs> but yeah, you do get patches, which is super cool. Yeah, I've become a real patch hound. I'm loving these things. I, I like patches too. That's what I was talking. We were just talking recently about that. I'm like, I like the patches more than a metal. The metal, like I have in my garage, I have a wall of metals now, and and I fear to move. We were gonna, we were thinking about moving. I don't want to do it because I don't want to pack all those fucking metals. There's got to be like two hundred and fifty pounds of metals. That's that's up. exactly what I said to Amber. I'm like, we have way too many metals, and do we need that many? Like, really? Like, they just get keep getting piled up and pile up and pile up. I'm like, the patches are the end now. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, I stopped taking metals on events because I'm like, great, I've got one. I I only need one for this year i've got it we're good <laughs> i'm still taking them because i haven't run out of wall in the garage yet when i run out of wall in the garage, <laughs> and then I'll or, or until your drywall falls over dave <laughs> yeah luckily the garage isn't finished it's just studs so we're okay <laughs> okay perfect <laughs> but it is it is it is getting a little out of hand it's um i had a, i had a buddy over the other day and he's like you've been doing this a while <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah you, know, you tell <laughs> yeah all right so then what is the big event because i'm really jacked up about this shit <laughs> okay so again like hosting events is just like if all tales and fitness you guys you'll find me as an event coordinator um so that is really a fun thing about being a high rocks affiliate is you you get to get creative and you get to host events um and kind of put a twist on them so what we're gonna do on August 10th and 11th, we've got the Niagara Convention Center. So we've got this massive space. Um, it's going to feel like a race. It's going to feel really similar to like race day energy. 
Um, and the Saturday is going to be a half high rocks, all solos. And we're going to have different versions and weights. So there's going to be 10, like, basically there's going to be like an open option or a competitive option. Um, so they can choose, you know, what category is going to suit you best. Um, it's everything's half. So it's 500 meter runs. And then basically each zone is half the distance or reps. So for example, it'll be a 500 meter ski instead of a thousand meter ski. So just think everything in half with the, the same weights. Um, now there are going to be a few modifications. We are going to be using or substitutions, I would say. We're going to be using the torque tanks in place of the sled push, um, but we will have sleds for the pull. And we're going to be using rams in place of the sandbags for the lunges. So a few modifications there, substitutions, but it's going to feel really similar uh, to the race day. So that's on the Saturday. So all solos, half high rocks. On the Sunday, we're going to be running, again, still everything half. Um, but we're going to be running doubles and then a team relay in the afternoon. So the format and the rules of like execution are going to stay the same as a regular high rocks where you run every run with your partner and you split all the stations as you choose. Um, and then for the team relays, you do a run into your station and whatever, you know, strategy you and your team come up with. Everybody does too. Um, so that's kind of the format of each day. But as Dave knows, there's like, an added twist onto it. So um, we're doing what we're calling like the team challenge. So the half high rocks team challenge. So what that's going to look like is prize money, first of all, for co-ed teams, male teams, and female teams, top three overall in each of those. Um, and your podium is based on, I'll use Zach and I as an example. So if Zach and I register as a team on the Saturday, we both have to execute a solo half high rocks individually in the competitive category with the competitive weight as it's all written out in the registration guys. You can see it all there in the FAQs and everything on the registration page. And then on the Sunday, him and I have to run the doubles together. And our podium time is the combination of our three races. So my solo half high rocks plus his solo half high rocks plus our doubles time. And that's going to replace us in contention for podium. So yeah. What and, questions do you have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first off one, you guys have always been team team guys. You guys are always big on the team. You're big on the relay. And, and yeah. I, I'm a big fan of relays too. I think they're fast. They're exciting. They're, 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 they're always my favorite part. Um, first question though, and this, uh, I'm sure this will get asked. So do I have to do a team thing too, or can I just do a solo or can I just do a team or do I have to do it all? Yeah. So you can just do one or the other. You just won't be in contention for prize money. Yeah. Will there still be like, say, will there still be say an individual podium, not necessarily prize yeah. money or prizes, but an individual podium for people who just, or whatever, because you may be a team, you may not be a team. So there'll be yeah. a podium and then a, a team podium as well. So they don't. Okay. So everything's yeah, so separately. We're just calling project. it like, podium recognition for yes. those categories so we'll still recognize like you know and and we've all we've got it all trinkled down into age groups too so when you guys go to the registration page like there's a whole like faq section and you can see like uh the age categories we're going to recognize on the podiums again it's recognition so individual po podiums not eligible for prize money you have to be part of like the team challenge aspect to be eligible for the prize money but um we're going to recognize everybody that we can including doubles and team relays There'll be lots of recognition. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Is there a specific 45 to 50 bald man category? <laughs> you know what? There's shockingly more of us than you think. So I can make the rule. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's shockingly more of us than you'd think. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> there's a lot of us out there. It's, it happens a lot. Um, okay. Um, so setup of the, the other question I have was, so setup of the event, how many lanes do we, do you think yeah. we'll have? And, um, Will the layout kind of be similar to a high rocks or will it be more like a deck of fit where you have that kind of layout like there? How is, do you have any idea how your layout's going to be? Um, so there's going to be six lines of equipment. So six of yeah. everything. Um, the layout we're still kind of manipulating um, based on like the documents we've received, obviously in the square footage and <laughs> you know how many laps we're going to do, if we're going to be able to do one or two. Um, so we're still kind of manipulating with that. Um, but it's, it's going to be set up probably as similar as we can to a regular high, like we want to really simulate a race day feel. So 
again, still working on that, but we're going to do the best we can to mimic it as closely as possible in the best way that we can with the space and the equipment that we have. So you're going to have probably then like one in 16, 15 slaps and in a, a, a rock song. No. Ideally, so, two, so, ideally so, two laps. Ideally, I yeah. Think we're, I, we're thinking two laps, yes. Yeah. Two laps, and then, but like it's sort of a mini rock zone. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, and that's. Yeah. That, I think you're right too because that that does prep you for the real for the for the full full high rocks. Well, then, yeah, especially with this being two months out from Toronto in October, um, we're like I said, we're gonna do the best we can to to mimic it, to simulate it for everybody. It's a really good opportunity to just get out, you know, get that race day simulation, and I mean just to get a feel for the course and the layout and the flow. Obviously, there are some minor differences, but it's going to give you a pretty good idea of what you're getting into come October. So that was kind of the goal behind doing it in this approach. Yeah, and like I was just thinking too, for I don't know if you all know, but High Rocks Toronto is very sold out. Yeah. If you didn't get in on it and you were waited and you wasted, don't waste time on this. Yeah. Go yeah. sell. It's going to sell, and it's going to be a blast. Like it will be yeah. right up. It'll be so fun and, and fast. Yeah. And actually, we did have somebody um, inquire today. There's a few people who have seen our post. We just posted about this on social media today. And um, some people have said, well, can I just register for a second lap so I get kind of the full volume? And I was like, that's a great idea. So stay tuned, you guys. We are going to have options on that. Um, now, if obviously you're doing you're participating in the team challenge portion of it, your first go through will be your counting time towards your team score. Um, but we we did have somebody inquire. I think it's a great idea. Um, so stay tuned on information on how you could potentially do a second lap at a discounted price um, to simulate that full volume high rocks. Yeah, I never even thought about that. That's a great idea. Yeah, but it was a great idea. I'm not For somebody who wants to really prep, it was, I was like, actually, yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, I, now you said weights. We're going to uh, vary a bit. So you're going to have probably two categories. So let's just take, for example, um, the lunges. Okay. We'll go with the lunges. Mm -hmm. um, so, and you're saying you're using Rams. I assume probably, yeah. let's just say for the heavier weight, you probably do the 55 and 44 or something along that way. We might have some coming. <laughs> we might have oh. 66 pound Rams coming. Nice. So for the open women's, it'll be the 22 pound Ram. And then the competitive will be the 44 men's open 44 men's competitive is either going to be the 55 or the 66, depending on if we can get them in time come August. Um, again, we're going to do our best to have the 66 pound Rams there. And I do know Nick and Tammy of Ram Fit Canada are working on actually putting straps on to really mimic the feel of a sandbag. So Again, when I say like we're really thinking this through and trying to bring like a race day simulation to you guys, we're thinking of it all. <laughs> I, I talked to JP once and I tried to convince him and actually he liked the idea, but I said he should make some straps for the, excuse me, for the Rams where you can turn them into farmer carry Rams. So like a, a oh, farmer cool. carry handle. Oh for yeah, them, that'd be awesome. It's that. like a log carry back in Spartan days. <laughs> exactly, right? Like, so yeah, so just like an adjustable strap that you could put on there and then they mm -hmm. could throw that into all the sort, all different farmer carry events and things like that. Always yeah. thinking, always got ideas. Always um, thinking. Yeah, so so the weights will be a little bit adjusted here and there, right? And yeah. then um and the sled pull you said will still be the same rope pull. Do you do you think you'll have the 12 and a half meter set up for, for the pushes and pulls? Um, we do anticipate it, yes. Because like I said, we're in the Niagara Convention Center. We've got a lot of space to work with here. So um, again, just trying to like finalize, you know, exact setup and manipulate it a little bit. But again, we plan on bringing as similar as race day dimensions, distance, everything that we can um, to the floor. So the tanks obviously are going to feel different. So like that's something we are going to figure out more on a time base. You know, how long generally does it take for the sled push? Cause the tank's going to feel a little different and we'll manipulate the distance on that based on a relative time goal or time target. Um, so that's the only one that you may see a little bit looks wonky when you show up on that day. But again, it's going to be based on more of a time target and less of a distance when it comes to the, the tank push or the sled push at our event. Yeah. You're probably, you're probably looking to try to hit somewhere between 90 and, uh, and two, yeah. Um, yeah one minute and a half and two and a half minutes, somewhere in that neck of the woods. 
Yeah. So be. like that's probably gonna be like the full Sorry, that would be a full existing. one. That would be a full that would be what a full one yeah. was. So you'd probably be going half that. So, yeah. So you're like even somewhere between 60 and two minutes would probably be right. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna like we're gonna try all that obviously beforehand, but um it'll be very targeted, ideally based on duration. Um, the targeted duration for that zone or station. Right. And you said Niagara Convention Center, this this thing yeah. is huge. And this is like right by the falls, right? Because yeah. I, yeah. I, I kind of Google mapped it there. It's, it's massive. Massive. Yeah. Like we're talking thousands of square feet. <laughs> yeah. And um, but and the thing I'm getting at is like if you're, you know, looking for a little travel adventure. Niagara Falls in August is absolutely gorgeous. There's tons of crap <laughs> to do, you know, so yeah. you get your event done. Then Saturday night, you go out, don't get too drunk because you got to go again Sunday. Yeah, because you might have but, to team up the next day. <laughs> but it's a legit destination event. Like it might it might yeah. not be a, a full blitz and glam of a full high rocks, but it's in a really cool location. Yeah. And I mean, like we recognize like people are going to be traveling to come to our event and like there's going to be something when you cross the finish line you know it's not just gonna be like cross the finish line high five you're done like we're working on getting something probably not medals but there'll be some sort of like recognition for finishing the event um and then obviously like we talked about the podium recognition for the categories and we're going right down into age groups like we really love celebrating people if you've ever been in our gym so you know we're going to do our best to celebrate everybody when they cross the finish line and on the podium and recognize all efforts as best we can so it's going to be it's going to be worth the travel so two two simple-ish questions i think one um when can we sign up now Good. registration's open and two what what would be the what would be the cost breakdown kind of for, yeah. for or and is there so, like a deal for doing both so the um the registration, we had to do two separate links. So one is for the Saturday, which is all the solos. Mm -hmm. um, and it's $100 for the solo. And then the second link would be for, and it's called Team Challenge. So that's the second day, the Sunday. So that's your doubles and your team relay. Um, it is specified in the registration link. If you're registering and anticipating on being eligible for the podium prize money, you do need to register as competitive on the Saturday and as competitive on the Sunday. So like I said, hundred dollars for solos. Duos is 150 for the team. Only register once. Okay. So it's 75 each. It's up to you guys to figure that out. You're just gonna make one payment and then you and your partner can figure that out later. <laughs> okay. And then for the team relay, it's 200. So it's $50 each. Again, you're just submitting one registration and it does ask you to fill out a form and tell us who your teammates are. Tell us who your team member is. Are you eligible for team challenge? There's a whole questionnaire once you've submitted your registration that it's not going to let you proceed unless you fill it out. So it's going to ask you everything I need to know upon checkout. That's awesome. I'm like I said, I'm jacked up. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it on the, I've got it on the calendar. Um, I don't intend to win crap, but I'm going to have a blast. Um, hey, you never know. You might win it. Hey, I have won the occasional thing here and there. <laughs> Hey, just find someone in your age group. That's right. right? That's right. So I've got, I've got someone in my age group. She's sitting over there. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> I know, but then it's like, do you go co-ed? Do you go male? Like, yeah, yeah. now you got to think, okay. And then you ask around, okay, who's racing in what division? <laughs> need to find a bunch of old bald guys to run a relay with. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. I know the relays are just going to be a riot. I think we should make a mandatory rule that you have to show up in some crazy outfit or something, just matching oh, your team. We should have a prize for that. You know, best what? dress team. The the, the High Rocks community has, and and the and the deck as well has really upped their game on the matching team outfits. Like, right. Yeah. Got really and and you know, sad to say, the women are far ahead of us. Like they're doing a way better oh, job. For sure. But the women, I mean, the women care a little bit more about their outfits than the guys do. The guys are like, oh, I'll just toss this on. Okay, I'm good. I know you're, got, you're, you're talking to a guy who classically wears plaid shorts everywhere I go here. Like, this right? is important stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about branding, right? Yeah. 100%. Awesome. All right, guys. Anything else? Anything last to say? Anything you want to shout out? Um, you mentioned Ram. Um, 
going to be a big part yeah. of it. Yeah, well, let's shout out to Nick and Tammy, Ram Fit Canada. So this event is in partner with them. So Pure Impact Athletics is partnering with Ram Fit Canada to bring this event to you guys. So make sure you go follow them on Instagram as well. Again, the Rams are awesome way to train and we got 66 pounds in the making. So those might be available and a great option for people um, to train with. So if you're a gym owner, go give them a follow. Shout out to Ram Fit Canada, Planet Ram. <laughs> awesome guys. And again, if you need a good gym or training, check out, uh, what's your training? Um, train with Tate, sorry. Oh yeah, so remote coaching. I do remote coaching as well for those who are not in the area. Um, it's Train with Tate. You can just find me on Instagram as Amber Tate, T-A-I-T, not T-A-T-E. <laughs> Big difference, you guys. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Um, awesome. Or if you're local to the area in Brantford, our gym is Pure Impact Athletics. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. We, um, one, really appreciate you guys, work all the hard work you do, and bringing a cool event like this. We're going to have a great time. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Thanks, Dave.